104.7 The Cave plays pure classic rock. 104.7 The Cave, Pat Benatar, hit me with your best shot. Mike the Intern, good morning. Today the reissue of Physical Graffiti from Led Zeppelin comes out and Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin did a Q&A on Yahoo Live recently to talk about the record and all kinds of different things. And first, he talks now about how the band members were playing together in an extremely creative and proficient way when they recorded this album. The way that we sort of combined musically, because we were all incredible musicians, there's no doubt about that, but the way that we could play together as a band was unlike anybody else, and that's all there was to it. Now he talks about how he tried to capture the very best studio performances by each band member. You're capturing the performance, the essence, the whole thing of the light and shade and the accents. And whoever's doing their part, whether it's John Paul Jones is redoing his bass or whatever, or Robert or me doing the guitar, you're capturing the best performance that you can get out of everyone. So collectively, it just you know, really works when you're just sewing up this whole document or this tapestry. We'll get to more with Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, good morning. Jimmy Page sat down on Yahoo Live to do a Q&A about the reissue of Physical Graffiti, which comes out today. Now he talks about how he was excited to flesh out some different songs with John Bonham. I had this other idea and riff before getting to Headley, and it was basically what the riff of Kashmir is, which is a musical round, and the riff comes around and catches up on itself. And the idea of having, like, the sort of cascading, like, it's a 12-string and the brass coming in, and, and I had all these sort of figures that would go with this riff, you know? And I just couldn't wait to get... I could hear it in my head. I wanted to get in that hall with John Bonham and play it, and he just enthused the minute he heard it, because, of course, he was so keen to get back to Headley Grange because the drum sound was just so good you know, and he was really excited. Now, during the press release, he also teased some fans about the upcoming reissues that the band will eventually release. So it's a sixth in this progression of releases, and there's another three more to come. So there's Presence, as in Through the Outdoor, and then there's Coda. But what I had to do before even the release of the first one was to have all of these companion discs all sorted out beforehand. So I sort of know what's coming. I can't sort of tell you because it's all a surprise. But I can assure you, you're in some real treats that are coming, just in so much as we are with this. It's a deep cut from Bad Company. Moving on on 104.7 The Cave. 104.7 The Cave, Led Zeppelin, The Ocean. Mike the Intern, good morning. Jimmy Page did a sit-down on Yahoo Live talking about the new reissue, Physical Graffiti, that comes out today. Now he talks about how it was important that Robert Plant sang while the tape was rolling. What we would do when we were recording would be, if Robert had, like, sort of guide lyrics or whatever, he would be singing along. A lot of, you know, it's quite a percentage of the time when he had the full thing, and that's what actually remains on the the final version. But you'd want him to be singing along so you could hear him singing, so that you could do all the accents around the vocals as opposed to just doing a track like that. So it's like a monotone. Next, he talks about how creative the band got when they were working on the song In The Light. When you get to the studio version of In The Light, it's just incredible. You know, this whole sort of the drones are opening up and John Paul Jones's keyboard part is just opening up into this epic and then Robert has these block vocals that come in and it, it's sort of reminiscent to me of the music of Bulgaria. There were these sort of albums of these choirs singing. It was in these yeah. sort of block harmonies like that. But he got this thing and I mean, it's just, we're all on a mission with this. I'm Mike the Intern. We got a six pack of Pure Classic Rock on the way next on 104.7 The Cave. The Cave plays pure classic rock.